You know, part of me is starting to believe that the events that took place in Santa Clara, California on the evening of February 7, 2016 was large in part due to my guarantee that if the Carolina Panthers won the Super Bowl, it's going to be imposed a demand week. And why do I think that that's my fault? Well, here's why. Because imposed a demand week was going to be probably one of the biggest fucking things that ever happened in the history of the world. That's going to come out day after day, one by one by damn one, presenting methods and techniques that anybody in the world could include into their strategy immediately to start building more muscle, getting stronger, transforming their body. So part of me thinks that the man upstairs was like, you know what, Ben, the world ain't ready for this. I gotta put a stop to this somehow. So, unfortunately, Carolina Panthers aren't winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, 15 and one, great season. Beat every single team that they played. But you know what? I can't have them beat the Denver Broncos because what you're gonna do is potentially put thousands, if not millions of people in the fucking hospital. You're gonna start presenting these methods and techniques that anybody can apply and what they're gonna do is they're just gonna go over the top with it and potentially kill themselves. And I can't let you do that to the people who you're here to try to help. So, you know, things happen the way they did and it's not imposed a demand week, but I can still provide value. Sometimes there's two ways to look at it. Providing value directly or providing value by empowering people to not allow other people to negatively impact them. So instead of giving you a method or a technique to make you bigger and stronger, I'll talk about who the fuck you should avoid because they don't have your best interest in mind. They're just gonna fuck your shit up. So I'll start this one with a quote and I'll end it with a quote too. We'll start with Jay-Z saying, when the grass is cut, the snakes will show. So the fitness industry is saturated. There's people everywhere that think they know everything. Everybody wants to be a hero. So I go up to other people in the gym and I try to tell them what to do. Do it this way, do it that way. What you need to ask these people to cut the grass per se, to reveal a snake, is why? All right, that's great, but why? Why are you telling me to do it this way? Because it's better? That's not a good answer. If you can't explain in great detail why you're recommending that I should do this or that, then you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't understand what the fuck you're talking about, and therefore you don't have any credibility. Why the fuck would I want to listen to somebody that has no credibility? So you got to ask these people when they make their recommendations, why? And if they can't come up with something better than, because it's better that way, don't fucking listen to them. There's an opportunity for them to actually, you know, pass on valuable information because whether you know what you're talking about or not, whether you understand biomechanics or not, whether you know how muscles operate or not, whether you know how the body operates and that it's always gonna take the path of least resistance, whether you understand how a muscle becomes a limiting factor, whether you know any of this shit, a squat is still a squat, a bench press is still a bench press. So if you know how to teach that, then yeah, you could probably provide some value, but if you don't know how to explain why you're making a recommendation that you are, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You need to shut your fucking mouth and let people just go on about their day doing whatever they're gonna do. That's a quick one for you today because I'm gonna end it with a quote right now. Eminem said it best when he said, nowadays everybody wanna talk like they've got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips. Just a bunch of gibberish. And then he goes on to say, motherfuckers act like they forgot about Dre, but that doesn't really apply here. So keep that in mind. Everybody wants to be a hero. Everybody wants to talk, but most of them have absolutely nothing to say. So just disregard it, because they got no credibility. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And you'll reveal them to be a snake by simply asking why. If you like this information, feel free to share it. Click the fucking button at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel, I'll keep bringing it. I'll bounce back. You know, that Carolina loss is really affecting me. Can't be as bad as what the Seahawks fans were feeling last year, though. I mean, that was fucking horrible.